All right, everybody, here is one of my, uh, one of the channel favorites. This is Williams Blade Design. You will see some of the videos he does, collaborations with CRKT, but these are from the man himself. So, James, uh, tell us about what you got here on this table. Well, we have lots of things on the table. A new uh, design that my son Christopher came up with, which is an integral carbon fiber so it's one piece of carbon fiber really strong really light um, made by lion steel and also a really shaped blade it's fantastic yeah, really light oh really man. slick fun um, these are from trc and this is a shape we use all the way out to 5.7 inches but it makes such a nice working knife and it's so sharp so easy to use however you need to use it doesn't matter what you end up doing easy to carry dagger from a request from a classified unit for a, that does covert work for a concealment dagger going into non-permissive environments um, curved enough that once you get it in you get a lot of damage once you're in people think slashing at people does it but it's the damage you do once you've penetrated that is the best uh, what else have we got down here? Excuse our reach. So, basically the, the same blade but a fixed blade, okay, um, in two different motifs. Uh, very nice, small, again, uh, more of a concealment, maybe personal defense oriented. Mm -hmm. um, very good grip. Uh, and what is that? Uh, that's canvas? Or what micarta. is it? Can oh, it's canvas. a micarta. Canvas micarta. Canvas micarta. And with, uh, with a little bump call with, and, and, uh, on a sword, Wagasashi or Tantu, it'd be called a Yatsubo or Emperor Node. It allows you to know where the blade orientation is. There you this go. would be the omote or the outside of the blade. So I like to call those a little stab will do ya. This is, a, this is a request by classified unit again before they went into Libya. They want a larger version of a knife that they'd asked for previously. So this is nine inches. Still very light and fast, but substantial. Very much so. <laughs> and of course, uh, I did a video on another version of this, and um, let's hear about this axe. So the thought here is, you know, Ranger Creed, ounces equal pounds, pounds equal pain. If you're going to carry something out, you know, to work with, what can it do for the weight you're carrying? <clears throat> so designed to be able to skin with. I've got videos and pictures of people skinning out here. My grandson's got four deer this last fall. Um, so you want to be able to do that, you want to be able to pound with it, you want to be able to do work, and if you don't work with your hands all the time, you're going to fatigue fast if you have to do a lot of work. So this allows you to let the axe turn and move in your hand without it slipping, okay? Without it slipping. And because of the curve, I can work different places. I need to fall a small tree. I need to take the limbs off. I need to do barking. Maybe I need to use it like a skiff so I can shape it so I can fit it into something if I'm building a thing. Okay? If I'm fighting with it, I'm going to start with it here where I'm completely protected in the process. Okay? I'll be able to switch really quickly if I need to come around and need more because I'm not worried about sliding off the end. Okay? And this, of course, if you hit something hard, will penetrate really well. So the goal was to get how much can you get out of a design because again, when you have a tool and you've got to hump it, no, no speak for carrying it with a ruck and spending long times moving over ground with your own feet. Um, what, what can I get out of the tool? How much can I actually get the tool? Very good. Very good. Well, you have a fine selection of blades here. Um, so, 
you can get them. I suggest getting them from uh, your website. Uh, what is your website? Uh, WilliamsPlayDesign.com. WilliamsPlayDesign.com. And get them from the source yourself. Yes. All right. James, thank you so much. You're very welcome. Nice to see you. And have a nice and day. You, <laughs> and have a nice day.